What's happening, buddy? This is Hayden Adams with a designer who codes. In this project, we're going to create three cards. I've got a drip coffee card, I'm an espresso, and a pour over. But more importantly, we're going to build the cards so they're all aligned vertically on the page, no matter how much text is inside each card. And here's the best part we make this responsive. If I move my little browser around, notice how the design goes back to normal on the responsive design. So it's built for responsiveness backwards and forwards. So enough of the finished one. Let's go back to an unfinished design and build this card from scratch. I wanna close that window right here. I am using, I'm gonna say Gatsby. I am using Bootstrap 5, and you can go grab a basic template of the docs area and copy and paste the quick start area, which I have down below. The one thing I've also done is I've incorporated a CSS file, which is basically empty or is empty, and I have it sitting right below the link file and the custom CSS is right below it. In CSS cascading, the dominant CSS file is the one at the bottom. So if I head over to the hello world, there it is. What I'm gonna do is inside the hello world, I can pretty much close this one. There we go. And in the hello world, what I wanna do is then come down here and say div class container. The containers are a responsive holding area for everything to move. The container is like the most powerful thing in that bootstrap arsenal of code. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna add a series of rows in this design. So I'm gonna say div class, and in here I'm gonna say row, and give it a gutter of three. Drop it in. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna add my first column to put my card in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say div class, and in here define my column. I'm gonna say call, not cold, call MD4 and then call six. The reason why there's no small or extra small is in Bootstrap 5, it is mobile first. So everything below the medium will hit the call six is the mobile side and then medium, large, XL and double XL is gonna be a four column design. What I mean by the four column design, if you're unfamiliar with how columns work, I'm gonna say the word test just to show you what I'm looking at here. And I'll copy this three ways. Bootstrap works on a 12 column design. So what happens is when I say call MD4, that's one third or 12 divided by three. If I come over here and move my design, what's gonna happen is when it hits the medium or smaller, it's gonna to default to a six or a 12 divided by six equals 50%. Perfect. That's the first test to make sure, I don't know why I can't get my browser, there we go, to the very edge. That's the first test to make sure everything's working. For right now, I'm gonna take these out and just focus on the first of the three designs when it comes to my cards. Then I'm gonna say after the word test, take it out and say div class card. In here, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say image source SRC equals I've got three pictures, so I'm gonna say dot. In this case, I'm gonna say images. And in here I have coffee 01, espresso, and pour over. I'll take the coffee 01, and the class I'm gonna add for this is first card image top. If I just save this, let's close. What I get is this picture of the coffee right away. Now the image top curves the little corners on the top left and the top right. This is good, but what I wanna do is I wanna make sure I fit all three pictures to the same aspect ratio. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type image fit. Now this does nothing by default, but what I'm gonna do is inside my custom CSS file, I'm gonna type an image fit. So I'll say card.image fit. Now the card is optional, but I'm just gonna put it because I wanna make sure I make a mistake anywhere else down the road. I'm gonna say aspect ratio, and in here I'm gonna say 16 by nine, and I'm gonna say object fit is gonna be cover. Perfect, now what it's gonna do is gonna make a 16 by nine ratio in this design. Now for the responsive design, I want a little bit of a taller design. So I'm gonna add something brand new at the bottom. I'm gonna say media, and say max width, 767.98. That's basically the size that Bootstrap gives us for anything smaller than a tablet or smaller than medium. In this case, I'm just gonna change the aspect ratio and say card 
and then dot image fit. And in here, what I'll do is I'll say aspect ratio and I'll give it a 1.45 slash one. That just gives us a little bit of a taller design when it hits, there it goes, a certain size in the actual project. Perfect. And again, it makes it smaller, bigger, and then makes it taller as it goes back and forth. Awesome. We've got our aspect ratio in here. We can continue to build this first card. Back inside the HTML, after the image fit section in here, I also have to add an alt and say cups of coffee, just to make sure, whoops, one more two E's, that we describe the picture accurately, which is multiple cups or cups of coffee. After this, what I wanna do is I'm gonna add a card body. Div class and I'll say card body. Now in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say H5 and I'll say card, oops, class, card title. And the card title here is going to be drip coffee. There we go. After this, I'm gonna do something new. I'm gonna say P class and in here, I'll say card text. And the text I'm gonna bring in, I'm gonna copy and paste this just because I want a certain limit of information here. I'm gonna drop it in and say some quick text right there, looking pretty good. Now at the next piece, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna say something called text end. So right here, I'm gonna add something new inside this card body. I'll say div class text end. This is the end of the text. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a button at the very bottom. So if I save this, there it goes. We've got our text right down here. And the text end's gonna go to the very bottom. So I'm gonna say a href, and in here I'll just add a pound sign. It kind of yells at you if you're using any kind of React formula here, but for right now we're totally fine. I'll say class, and then btn, and then btn outline primary, and learn more. And just like that, this shows up right here. Looking pretty good. Now that we have one card built, I'm gonna copy and paste this so we have three cards. I'm gonna change the pictures and change the text, and then we'll make the magic happen so we can drop our vertically aligned cards all together. I can just copy call to call. So I'm gonna grab the columns, and great part about using VS Code is it shows you the line right down the page and where I have to grab the div. I'm gonna put an extra space in between just so I don't have to worry about where I'm looking. Oh, it looks beautiful. Drip coffee, drip coffee, and drip coffee. Learn more, learn more, and learn more. Well, we have to change the next two, and we also have to change the text so we can actually utilize this vertically alignment. Yes, technically these are all vertically aligned with only two sentences, but what if we had three or four sentences down the road? So if I scroll up, I'm gonna make sure I don't have the first one. The first one is drip coffee, and the second one I'm gonna do is espresso. So I have an espresso picture. So I'll say espresso, and we'll just change this one to espresso. And drop it in, there's our espresso. We'll then say not drip coffee, but espresso. And I will just copy some content here. I think it's the same actually. Oh, it is the same. My notes were just kind of fooling me for a second. But the third one we have to change to some more text. So down below on the third one I have here, I'm gonna say pour over, pour over .jpg, and using of course the CSS, it keeps everything in alignment using the aspect ratio. And we'll change cups of coffee to pour over coffee. Now is where we have to add some extra text. So what we'll do is we'll change the drip coffee to pour over, and then this text is gonna change. Now what happens is, there we go, this card, if I just bring this down just a bit, if you look at it, this card gets lower than the other two, naturally because we have more text. We gotta fix that. So let's do this, let me pull this up a little bit. So what we'll do is pull this up to the very top and we'll just scroll down right there. And in the custom CSS file, I'm gonna add some more code right in the between this, because I always add the media queries at the very bottom of my code, I'm gonna say card 
and say height equals 100%. That's gonna pull all the cards down, and just like magic, it makes all the cards, of course, be the same length. That's good, but I want the learn mores to be down below too, because this is kind of weird to have the learn mores up top and then the learn more down here. So yes, the card technically is vertically aligned. However, the learn more is not down to the very bottom. Gotta fix that. So after the card, I'm gonna say card body. And the card body, I'm gonna say is display flex. That's gonna do, ooh, it's just what you exactly thought it was gonna do, is <laughs> um, it's gonna basically put them into rows, not columns. So by default, the flex made these things go side by side by side. That's not what I want. I also want a height of 100 within this actual card body, because I wanna make sure I pull the buttons to the very bottom. We're gonna say height 100%, and to fix this problem, let me move this up on the video a little bit higher. I'm gonna say flex direction is gonna be columns. Well, that's better, but <laughs> we're still not where we're at. Whew, at least I feel better, because that was a little bit of annoyance with those rows. So yes, you need the display flex, the height 100%, and the flex direction column. Now is for the piece de resistance that we've been all been waiting for. I'm gonna add a card text, and here's the cool part. This is why I did it right here, and I'll go back and explain how this works. I'm gonna say flex grow to one, and that's gonna push these down. Now what that does, it essentially says, if we expand out on this area, let me not do this, but what that one does is if we look at it from a different design, that flex grow one's gonna expand this middle to essentially the same height as the other two, or in this case, the other one with all the text. So the paragraph, but if we find that card text, notice how it fills the space of the 100. Pretty cool. So now what happens is, is regardless of where you have the most text, everything goes down. One more piece to show you, because I want to also notice what happens if you don't do it this way. If we come back up to the top, let's grab this one right up here. If we don't have the div, watch what happens. If I take this out for a split second and move down here, notice how the button becomes all the way across the design going 100%. That's because we used columns and all the columns are essentially block level elements. Since flex uses the actual childs of the card body, we have H5, paragraph, and then we have this A tag, the actual button goes all the way across the page. That's why I created the div class end because the class end, if we come back down here, the class N goes all the way on the, across the actual page, but the actual button is only the size of the learn more because the A is what's called a span or an inline, and then inside of here is a block level element to go across the page. Again, if you want a button to do just that, then by all means, knock it out where it goes across the entire card. For me, I didn't want that, so I had to build the text end. And that's where the card text area shows up and how I made the card body turn to flex. Now the power of this is that because it uses the entire width of all the cards in one row, if we were to then go back, in fact, we can just use inspect and I think about it. If we go back this way, let's make it 150 so we can see it this hello world, but now drip coffee, drip coffee. And if we, that's not a very successful, <laughs> let's fit to window. There we go. Uh, notice how that the space right here is not affected compared to the text below. Yes, that's a very long amount of text. I would maybe shorten that into design, but essentially we get our three different designs 
that are completely responsive and it goes back and vertically aligns all the cards and moves the learn more down. 